G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. As promised yesterday, I'm making a second keto bread recipe. This will make my fourth in total. This one's so simple, so easy, so delicious. There's probably about five different versions out there that I've seen, but this is my favorite. So join me today as I make my version of soul bread. Okay, so we're going to start off with a mixing bowl. And our first ingredient is going to be some softened cream cheese. So all together, I've got 340 grams or 12 ounces of softened cream cheese. And when I say softened, I've just let it sit at room temperature for about half an hour. And then to that, I'm going to add a quarter cup of melted butter and a quarter cup of olive oil, a quarter cup of whipping cream or heavy cream or even double cream will do. And then just a little bit of salt. This just helps enhance some flavors. And for a bit of sweetness, a pinch of stevia. But you can use a different type of sweetener if you choose. So we're going to mix this on low at first until everything is just combined. And then we're going to mix it up a little bit faster, just until we have no lumps left from the cream cheese. Okay, so it's been mixing through for about two minutes now. So I've got four eggs here, so I've already slightly beaten them. So we're just going to slowly add that to the mixture. Just turn, turn it down a little bit, just, just so you don't splash yourself. So don't add it all at once, just slowly drip feed your beaten eggs into our cream cheese mixture. just until it's completely incorporated. And we're just gonna keep on mixing for another two to three minutes, just to be on the safe side, just so there's no lumps and everything is well combined. Okay, so look at that. It is nice and smooth and not a single lump in sight. It is perfect. Okay, so now for our first dry ingredient and we're going to use some unflavored protein powder. Make sure there's no vanilla or chocolate. We want a neutral flavor. Because just like normal bread, you want to mix it with, say, whatever type of topping that you like, and you don't want that distracting from the taste. All the dry ingredients we're about to use, we need to sift them all together, just so we get a nice, smooth consistency. So first of all, I'm going to add one and two thirds of a cup of our unflavored protein powder. And keeping with the keto theme, make sure there's no carbs or sugars added to the protein powder. So we just get 100% pure protein, which makes this recipe even better. So there's not only no carbs or sugar in this bread, you're also getting a great source of protein in every slice. And just like our last recipe, we're going to use some xanthan gum. And this will stop the bread from falling apart when we cut it. It's a fantastic combining agent. Otherwise, bread just crumbles away. So we only need to add one teaspoon of our xanthan gum. Next we're going to use some cream of tartar. And we only need a quarter of a teaspoon worth. And of course we need some baking powder to help it rise. So just add two and a half teaspoons of our baking powder to our mixture. Next we're going to add some bicarb soda, also called baking soda. And a third of a teaspoon is more than enough. Now just simply sift through all the ingredients until we get rid of every single lump and we have a lovely smooth lump free consistency. Okay so at this point I've ditched the stand mixer and you don't even want to use a hand mixer. You just want to use a spoon or a spatula and just fold the mixture through. Don't overdo it. Just fold it through carefully. If you overdo it, you're going to get a very dense bread and it won't be as fluffy. So take your time, fold it through until everything is well combined. And last, I've got a baking pan here that I've lined with some non-stick parchment paper and you'll notice that I've got some overhang. So we're just simply going to place all of our mixture into our loaf pan. And now it's ready for the oven. Now there are a few more ingredients and steps compared to my last keto type breads, but trust me, it is worth it. 
Now that all that's left is to place it into a preheated oven at 160 degrees Celsius or 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 minutes. Okay, so it's just finished baking. So we're going to give it the old stick test. So I've got a wooden skewer. Just place it in the center, pull it out, and see how it's come out clean? That means it's ready. So at this point, just take it straight out of the oven. Okay, so I love how it's just lightly brown on top. And see, you, you can sort of just touch it, it sort of springs back. You don't want to overdo it while it's cooling. So we're just going to carefully take it out of our baking tray and put it onto a wire rack. Just pull that aside. Okay, so at this stage, don't cut into it. You want to let it set, let it cool down completely for at least 60 minutes. And after 60 minutes, you can start cutting in, slicing, dicing, and making sandwiches with our delicious soul bread. Okay, so our soul bread, keto bread, protein bread, whichever one you want to call it, has cooled down completely. So just with a bread knife, we can just cut off our desired slices. And just look at that. Look how spongy that is. That is a fantastic slice of keto bread or soul bread. So many names, but a lovely bread all the same. And just like all bread, it can be toasted. You can have it as is. So you don't have to choose the healthy option on whatever you want to put on it. You can put whatever you want on it. The point is the bread itself is the healthy part. So it really does cut down on all those calories Plus it gives you that added protein without all the carbs and sugars. But personally for me, I love to add some ham and cheese. It really does go down well. With real butter, of course. So again, it's not the only soul recipe out there. There are plenty of others. This just happens to be one of the best ones for the most protein with the least amount of carbs and sugar. But using a cream cheese and the protein powder as the base, no matter what topping you use, it's going to taste simply delish.